Hi all. I wanted to talk with you about work at home jobs. Work at home jobs exposed fully bare or bare fully or something like that. Well, it will be like that in the first readout. Basically, you know, you know, we have to be careful of what what companies register with when it comes to working at home jobs especially mainly the ones that ask for you to pay pay for regular membership whatever it is whatever it is unless you're unless they're going to provide you with something unless they're going to provide you with something that you have to pay for unless they're going to pay pay you for something unless they're going to pay you for something that you have to unless you unless you're you're buying something buying something already that you that you uh, that they will pay for you for you know then go for it what well, let me say it again basically I'll give you an example you know if you're starting your own business and that and basically if you have your own personal website before you join the business or whatever work at home opportunity you join if you have if you have your own website and and you approach the, this work at home work at home opportunity you approach them and you say you want to register with them and uh, unless they unless they say that they will they will pay for your website membership your website your website your hosting plan your email account all the things all all the things associated with managing your own website if they say they'll if this opportunity work at home opportunity says says that they'll pay for your pay for your 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 bills for your website and stuff if they say they'll pay for it basically join them without thinking about it but if they say they're not going to pay for it then just avoid them avoid them like the plague avoid avoid them like the plague you know because that's the only thing that somebody needs to pay into if you if you're going to be offered a job or an op or an opportunity but the ones that that you join that you that you can join for free that's fine as long as you can make a reasonable amount of money off of them not just not just you making like not 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 as long as long as you can you can you can earn earn off of them like more than more than more than fifty more than fifty percent or close to fifty percent of of what they close to fifty percent or more than fifty percent of what they 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 of what you're buying off of them for so I say again either close to fifty percent or more than fifty percent you know twenty twenty percent is probably not really good but you know see what happens you have to judge it really really carefully because you know the reason I did, did this video is because I was registered with, with a I am still registered with them or I'm registered with a company that does that does that does their own toothpaste brand and when I had an appointment with my dentist I believe it was it was last month April I had an appointment with my dentist and they said to me, my actual dentist, the people that are doing, doing, doing checkups, um, doing the checkups on my, on my teeth, individual teeths, sorry, individual tooths, the ones that did the, 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 the checkup on my teeth, they actually said, you know, don't, don't use this, to this toothpaste brand, use, use a use a well known brand, a well popular brand that dentists use and you know that's what they said that's what they said to me and then since then you know since then I didn't use it and I I didn't use that use that toothpaste and yeah I'm I'm trying to work out of I'm trying to sort out of way, uh, sort out with with the company of getting my money back and stuff like that so you know you got to be careful about these things you got to like test them out test them out in in test them out properly before you join 
do your own research because with this company with the toothpaste problem that I have another another dentist did actually recommend them and they they weren't my they weren't my weren't my personal personal and regular regular dentist I have I have registered with them but they weren't my regular dentist and the company and the dentist that did the, that does that does checkups she she was a dentist herself and she recommended that that brand that company that I'm that I'm using the ones that I have to reject that I'm telling you that, 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 that I have problems with with the with the, the ones that I, that I said the ones that the ones that the, my, my, my current dentist rejected the toothpaste so but my but my current my current dentist the ones I do go and check up on a regular basis they're the ones that rejected the toothpaste but the other ones the other dentist that I don't that I don't visit I only visited once for a check up once they, they, they the the company or one of the one of the dentists in that company recommended that dent that that toothpaste they said you know it's a good brand brand to use to use the one that my other dentist re rejected so yeah you know when I told when I when I told the company this about them about their toothpaste being, being rejected they said that they said that it's a bit unusual for a dentist to reject their toothpaste but you know it happened so you know if one person rejects it you know I'm not gonna just I'm not gonna just not listen I'm gonna take that that person that rejected it just for safety because I'm a cautious guy as people know me as people know me you know it's good to learn from from your mis from your mistakes so you can teach other people what's going on you know this company never never asks for any payments up front for me to register with them but you know, you know you have to buy their products and sell it but I did buy some of their products and used them I, I did buy their products and, and used it used use them anyway so it's not like I lost my money so yeah but like I said you know do your own research take your time don't rush if you, the, the danger is in this in these with these companies when it comes to working at home and working at home online you know the, the danger is, is to rush it and not do your own thorough research and take your time and also you know try and try and if you're gonna pay anyone for anything doesn't really doesn't really matter if it's if it's with a with a work at home job or anything else if, even if you're tempted or whatever you're purchasing whatever you're purchasing from any other company or anything else just pay with a pay with a card I mean if if you if you if you lose the if you lose the dispute with your credit with your credit card or or visa card if you lose the dispute if you lose the dispute then you can always try you can always you can always try and and go with with the with with another financial department that can they can dispute it with if you lose the dispute with your bank but if you look if you want me to recommend you any other any other any other companies you you want you want if you want me to recommend you any other companies to dispute you with then just call me on the, in the descriptions so yeah that's really all I have to say in this video so God bless take care and peace be with you bye for now